welcome to just vibey vibes welcome let's talk about bridgerton season two oh <laughs> okay the first thing i want to say is this man i did miss the duke i actually was one of the people that said i'm not gonna watch it the duke is not here that i like. know last year when he came out that he's not gonna be there i was like i'm not gonna watch it but i like the fact that i watched it because i was like okay i have to still support other people in it you know what i mean and all of that i think that they should have still paid him more because he was a breakaster and why not they should have paid him more i'm sure there are some scenes that he would have done because him and um daphne their chemistry was unmatched it, like that chemistry was not even replicated this season but i like this season for this season i'm not going to when i start reviewing this season i'm not gonna try to how will i say to compare both of them because they are love story of two different people two different characters like about four different people or two different couples i would say and two different couple kind of character they were totally different this one the lady was strong she was you know what i mean she um was like the head of her family in a way so it's different from daphne daphne was soft she was gentle she was naive this one was not naive you know it was a sister that was naive you know so it's totally different so i'm just gonna review it like it's a different season different love story no, no comparing of both of them okay so now let's start firstly the first thing i want to say i didn't understand why kate was so standoffish to lady danbury in the beginning it felt like she's someone that feels like she's the only one that has her family best interest at heart so if they are both strong people and it felt like they were both like she was dragging something with lady danbury you cannot drag nothing with lady danbury and i do understand that those days you need to be married and when you're not married like you are how will i say outcasted so i was so shocked to see someone i'm not saying that they might not have been people like that those days but sometimes people just marry just so that they will not be outcasted so it was kind of a shock to see someone that actually was ready to just live her life that way you know yeah that that was also you know i mean a kind of a shock i do like kate i like the fact that you know like she was like a competition for what's his name for uh, anthony you know when like she was just used to you know bust she was like a ball buster for him she was just busting his ball all the time and i think that's what got him good but i know that when she was saying that i hate him like she thought it was hate really i'm like girl girl you cannot see that that's not hate but then the b scene ah oh, this whole ep season showed us what that little young boy had gone through anthony like what what has made him the man that he is today how everything he like how he kind of loots the fact that he is the first son you notice that he always feels cheated he would have even if previously he would have although yes he takes his duty quite seriously but he always feels cheated he always i think he would have just loved to be the second child or something like he can have that freedom and he always hated the fact that he had that duty but now it made a lot of sense like when they showed how his dad died oh my god the dad was allergic to be and like oh my god that is one of the worst things for a child to experience like obviously lots of people lose their parents but for you to see it for you to not be able to do something i know in those days it's not like these days where you could call nine and you could do something like there could be something quite you know urgent for you to do then if they cannot carry you to a doctor and the doctor cannot get a carriage that's it you're gone you're gone you know what i mean the health system then all the things that we have now they didn't have it then you know so yeah it was really i can imagine like him having to make a decision whether his mom is going to leave or his mom is going to die and they were asking him you have to make that decision and he had to go into the room where his mom is even giving birth wow wow and this that was the twin so wow uh, i'm glad that they were alive at least i knew that woman was alive if, if that was like a new scene that they were showing i would have been scared to death but at least i knew that woman was alive i knew that the twin were alive so I, I just knew that everything ended up being well but for him to have that kind of burden on him so young he explained a lot of things about him and then the girl too sometimes you no know, like and the body even increased by his mom was not 
being herself you know what i mean because she lost someone she was mourning so much that he had to take on that responsibility that's exactly what happened to miss kate because she had to take on her the responsibility of her family making sure that they are okay that's how she found the letter from the other people and decided to plan that whole scheme which she did and which was not even a bad idea you know it was not a bad idea at all until the fact that she and anthony cannot say their feeling and then why did i'm just picking out points of it that i think were interesting why did anthony propose to her when he knew that he did not love her well not only the fact that he did not love her people marry when they, when they don't love each other that was not even the point for me it was that why did he propose to her when he knew that he loved her sister he knew that sister was going to be in their life at that moment he didn't know that sister was not going to be in their life so was he proposing to her hoping that he will get to see the sister for the rest of his life because i do not understand that like that is conflict of interest and like oh i feel like they did too much like the whole wedding happened i said the queen cannot get a break although she can be mean but she could not catch a break because lady winston was just there always talking bad about her like you know writing things to make her seem a bit incompetent or maybe she doesn't know what she's doing or everything that she's doing must be wrong somewhere because something is wrong and then everything was just going bad 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 for her and she thought okay if i have this one i'll use it to get this lady with with sudan person and then i will also then be able to get my good name you know that wedding i, I hosted a wedding i'm so gracious you know all of that and then the wedding that didn't happen and then her husband that came out and now more people know that he has Alzheimer's because i'm sure that is either Alzheimer's or dementia and i'm sure that is um a situation that they were trying so much to um to curtail so that people don't know about it i'm sure a lot, lot of people know about his situation like what he is actually going through and if i think about it in those days i don't know was there even a name for it or what did people think was wrong you know like i don't know but do you think there was a name for it so all of that hmm honestly i felt like they were doing him too much and when when her bangle fell and then he went to hold it and then he held her hand i was like oh no 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 i'm not giving you i was like oh no oh no 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 eh, eh, please do not do that do not do that and oh i do understand both of them i understand both of them in a way but i feel like they took that dirty thing too far and i'm not saying that people don't take it and listen their own case they still ended up being together and what i'm understanding from bridgerton uh series like i think all of them are going to marry for love somewhere somehow that's what it's going to be because every season will be about one of the family members so they're always going to end up marrying for love because the mom is going to be there to guide them. The mom is going to tell them that's what the father wants. And now they have their first um, daughter, Daphne, married for love. And then now they have uh, Anthony married for love. So all of them will start aspiring to that, which would be something that would happen. I don't know, maybe even until the twin they grow up to marry for love. So which is a good thing. But I'm happy that they have happy ending. But in real life, like if you look at situation, there are things like that that might happen. Obviously not in that exact form. But most times people don't end up together so um yeah the whole show all together i would say the first season of bridget and i watched it more than seven times i didn't review it but i just kept on watching it like, every time i don't have like i just look for something there's nothing interesting the chemistry was so strong the sex scene was so good i'm telling you, everything about that season was so good this one does not really compare i know i said i'm not going to compare it but i feel like after i've watched this um this season too now i'm not going to re i don't see myself repeating it except i'm somewhere and someone is watching it i've not seen it before then i'll just put my eye on it but i'm not going to intentionally carry my remote turn on netflix and then just watch bridget in season two again no i don't it does it did not hold the same you know i mean the same strength i don't know the same pull like the first one did and i understand the first one has has a lot but i feel like if they had maybe brought the duke then maybe the pull from both of them would have i don't know i don't think he would have done anything they are just different people but I really like and Kate is beautiful. Her height, her posture, and her sister too. Edwina was also beautiful. Her mom was beautiful. Like the whole family, Sharma family, were fine people. And they were all fine. Like, everything was good about it. I like the fact that they showed like a uh, dark skin Indian family. That is good. like Indian person. That was good. That is seen as beautiful and stunning. 
that is good because i feel like in a way that has broken some kind of stereotype that people don't know because if you watch asian movies you will see that mostly the dark skin people are seen as not attractive not you know so it was a good thing that they showed in the light that okay the one that was mixed that was lighter the guy was still in love with the other one because there are stories they make it seem like the one that is darker should be thanking god if someone is even really interested in her if someone married her or something like that because she is less desirable and there's a lot of bleaching that happens in fact most of the bleaching uh cream that people use in places like africa and all of that always comes from there you see like it's an um indian person asian person that is like the face of those bleaching cream company like that the people that you see in the this thing like white and all of that stuff and this whole whatever to whiteness is like a lot there too it's not like only in the in the african community so it was really really good to see that that they showed that so um all in all and the writer actually wrote that so that was really good too so i've not read the book so if the writer did not write that then i'm sorry <laughs> but i'm just like sure that the writer wrote that okay so all in all um visiting was it's okay i feel like if you've watched this season one you should watch it i feel that you should i feel like it's interesting i feel like you should watch it maybe by season three they will bring the duke back or maybe they will never bring the duke back but you should watch it and i like a calling hmm i forgot to talk about that i was about even ending this review remember calling and penelope oh my god what wait i did not even talk about her whole god i didn't talk about a lot of things daphne for me actually that um i mean uh eloise penelope and a bit of Colin was actually one of the places where the drama was at a lot lady wisdom was just so close to being exposed and then by the end of the season not only did two, now two people know her identity completely they know that she's the one one of them obviously is the same church which um uh what they call her would not say nothing but then the other one is her friend i don't think her friend will say nothing i don't see her saying nothing because as much as she told her to get with her ever talk to her she still loves her you know there's this kind of love that she has for her and maybe when she comes down she will kind of understand that she did that for her but then she would maybe also know that colin did what colin like what she did the whole write-up for colin so that colin does not marry that girl and gets in a trap she has done a lot for colin but i feel like maybe she should just come out at this stage and be like i know in those days they don't do that but colin is your friend he's always going to be there for you but he doesn't see you that way at all like at all at all so i feel like you need to maybe carry that same balls that lady wizard done right with i don't know anybody that's read the book did it ever happen between penelope and colin maybe don't spoil it for me i'd like to see the other season but if not then i feel like maybe she should carry the book i hope it did happen ask him tell him i heard what you said i heard what you were talking to the guys that you would you never see me like that. i do see you that way so if you don't see me that way then maybe we shouldn't be friends because this old friend is like it feels like although he's not leading her astray he's seen her as a friend that has always been there for him but it feels like for her from her point of view like push and pull because she sees him that's that girl she's sad then he comes and talks to her she's happy then you know what i mean so it's just like push and pull push and pull push and pull so she just better i feel like it's just better for her to just ask him and if he doesn't feel like that then stop maybe stop giving that friendship maybe he might realize that maybe there's something there and if he does not realize that something there then let, let him not realize that there's ever something there and whatever would be would be so that's all i'm going to say about that but um and louise and that guy i don't know do they have a story honestly somehow i want to i don't want to read it but somehow i want to read it <laughs> i don't read because i actually want to be watching this series but i want to read like uh, did and louise find someone else that she loved did she have a, a coming out her, another one where she now found someone that she loved her own story what was it about is it with her and that guy still or is it her and somebody totally different because it feels like she loved that guy and it feels like he loves her too so she just hurt him and obviously he also i think there was so much pride in those days too the pride was just on another level god so i don't know but for me this one had a lot of other stories like the other one quitting his and this is because your brother paid <laughs> but then you need to come to 2022 people do it and people as long as you're doing what you're excelling yeah let people be surprised that you were not worth it but then you show them that you're worth it they are already telling you that you're worth it they didn't even think you were going to be worth it so why is that making you feel like you're not good enough because your brother did something but i did it out of love maybe yeah you don't want him to to uh whatever into your um uh, to put himself into your plan you want to actually uh, get something 
because you deserve it but then you're already there then you don't work twice as hard work 10 times as hard to show that you actually deserve a place there and then get your name if this is what you want and if that's not what you want lucky you that you guys have a lot of money then you figure out something else to do that's all i'm going to say then colin i don't know if there's going to be another story line. i think maybe the next one will not be the brother would it be the brother or it's either it's going to be a louise or it's, sorry or it's going to be the brother story so i don't know who is going to be i mean the brother that the access one so i don't know whose story of love is going to be next time but i'm um, modest is the one that that uh so right? that's what they call them so anyway i don't know all in all yeah but this season two we saw the mother's pain because last season we didn't see the mother's pain although yeah we can see that she wished some things but we didn't see her pain like that but this season we really really did see her pain so all in all it was all good so please don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you some other time Bye bye